In today's video, how quickly does your metabolism adapt to ultra low calorie dieting? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss how our metabolism adapts to ultra low calorie dieting and perhaps some of the ramifications and implications that go along with such an approach to fat loss. And before we get into the topic, I just want to remind everybody, we have less than a week left to get into the Pro Physique first ever 90 day transformation challenge. I'll put a link below. And if you're interested in getting into the competition for free, I'm giving away two spots on my Instagram today. I'll put my Instagram on the screen here. Go there, follow the instructions, and hey, get your free entry into the competition. Sign up by 11.59 Eastern Standard Time this Sunday. Okay, guys, so let's get that done and let's get it started and let's have an awesome time together. I've already been interacting with so many of the people in the private group that have joined and gotten started and it's gotten me so fired up that I'm gonna be doing it as well. And today's question, well, it does come from my Instagram, uh, which I put on the screen. So if you guys have questions for me, you can send them there. You can leave them in the comments below. And please hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content, it makes my day. Had a question about how bad will a one to two week, 600 calorie per day diet hurt your metabolism? I won't have access to weights for two weeks, so I'm trying to cut fat quickly, get down to around 10 to 12% body fat. It's easy to eat little because I'm in the military and I only eat at the chow hall, so I just eat breakfast and skip the rest. My maintenance calories is about 3,400 calories normally, but I don't want my metabolism to crush too hard. So it's a very interesting question and you actually raise a very good point and that is that you have a, a valid kind of way to stay busy and that's because you're in the military. And one thing that I have found with restricting calories is that when the mind is busy, you can really get away with some very low calories, especially if you have some stress or anxiety going on in your life. So you can use that as a positive. Now, I don't think that two weeks is gonna have any real negative impacts. We did a rapid fat loss study here at the University of South Florida, Dr. Campbell did, and one of my coaches, Kate Callahan, was a part of it. And so she was privy to some pretty good information and they did a very low calorie approach. Now. It wasn't 600 calories, okay? Uh, it was quite a bit more than that, and she's a 110-pound female, right? So it was quite a quite a bit more calories than that, but what they did was they did a rapid fat loss protocol where they slashed calories. Here's the one thing I would really try to stay away from. That is not getting your protein too low. Doing 600 calories, I mean, unless you're doing only protein and you're getting 150 grams of protein a day, well, then you're probably not getting any fat if you do that, right? So you're gonna have a real problem actually hitting macronutrient totals that allow you to, you know, not only stay full, but successfully hit numbers to, to keep muscle. And that's really where we get into some problems. When I talk about the most successful dieters, people that are able to diet and keep it off, well, there are often those that are able to continue to keep their muscle. And I'm going to link a study below that actually showed that if you aggressively diet, there is a very big risk, and it's it's been shown over and over, of body fat overshooting, meaning you start a diet, you get a bunch of body fat off, but when it's all said and done, you put that body fat back on and you overshoot. You actually end up with more body fat and in a worse position. And this study basically breaks it down into the fact that our bodies have a very happy natural set point. And when we lose body fat, we'll tend to gain it back until our body reaches that same set point. So then why do we overshoot? Well, because most people are gonna lose fat-free mass. They're gonna lose muscle, okay? They're gonna lose lean body mass. So to make up for that lean body mass that we've lost, what do we do? We overshoot our body fat. And you can understand how this could get very dangerous very quickly. So perhaps in your situation in the military for two weeks, it might not be that drastic of an issue. If you want to try it for two weeks, you know, my real concern would be that not that your metabolism is going to adapt, it's that you're going to be setting yourself up for, well, some epic kind of cheat meals. You're going to be start probably fantasizing about food. I mean, at 600 calories a day after a few days, you know, your carbohydrates are going to be so low that your performance on any given type of exercise or movement, even your brain power, you know, our brains are, are glucose engines, and I'm not guessing in the military that you're gonna be able to really stick to a very strict style of dieting that might prevent that, something like a ketogenic diet. 
But the real value in what you're asking is that yes, in a two week period, I don't think there's gonna be that much metabolic adaptation, okay? Metabolic adaptation happens over long periods of time where we keep calories very low, and it's a response basically to our body composition changing. You know, as we lose body fat, well, our metabolism adapts because we don't need to burn calories as rapidly. So if you sustain that for a very long time, then yes, you can see some metabolic adaptations and in fact, even more so than it should be predicted to be. They've seen resting metabolic rates that resemble someone um, who has been dieting for longer and weighs less. So the predictions are not always that accurate, but what's most important is that we do not lose lean body mass. And for that reason, I would really suggest keeping protein at a gram per your goal weight, which would be hard on 600 calories. For a male to eat 600 calories, that is that is an, a very low calorie total. So that would be my concern. It's less about how the metabolism is gonna adapt. I don't think that's gonna be a problem, but you are gonna have to control your calories. So for example, if you spend two weeks at 600 calories and you lose some weight, you know, there's going to be a lot of that weight that's going to be, you know, glycogen based fluid retention that's going to be intramuscular. So it's going to look really good on the scale. But the first time you go have a big carb sodium meal, well, the scale is going to jump back up. So I would be very aware of making sure that you're, you're paying attention to the, the things that get you most excited. And that would be losing body fat, not just the scale going down. You know, you said you want to reach 10 to 12 percent pictures would help. But I would take a much more sustained approach. In the long term, it allows us to keep muscle when we keep our calories a little bit higher, when we lose 1% or so of our body weight per week. Those are gonna be the people that are the most successful in transitioning. You're also gonna keep more muscle and therefore more likely not to body fat overshoot when it's all said and done. All right, so hopefully this answers your question. I would expect for two weeks, you would be fine metabolically speaking. I would just be concerned about the rebound effect after those two weeks. All right, guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. Go sign up for the Pro Physique Challenge down below. Two free entries on my Instagram today, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.